Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Here we are to talk about something very important, the most important concepts in physics. We're going to talk about matter, we're going to talk about mass, we're going to talk about volume, and we're going to talk about density. Let's get started. Matter. Matter is everything around us. Everything is made up of matter. Everything that has mass and takes space is made up of matter. These pieces of fruit are made up of matter. Water is made up of matter. The oil is made up of matter. I am made up of matter. The air around us is made up of matter. Everything except certain abstract concepts such as uh, love or things like that, everything is made up of matter. What about mass? Mass is the amount of matter something contains. It is measured in kilograms. And, well, it's important not to confuse mass and weight. Weight is a force. Uh, related to the force of gravity, whereas mass is simply the amount of matter something contains. Okay? Let's talk about volume. Volume is a very interesting concept. It's the amount of space something occupies. How can we measure that? Well, I'm gonna show you. Here I have a measuring cup. Okay? As you can see, we can see here the amount of water inside is exactly 500 milliliters, half liter. And I want to know the volume of this apple. What can we do? Okay, if I put the apple inside, according to the Archimedes principle, the water level is going to increase. And this way we'll know the volume this apple. Let's see. This is the original level of water, 500, and now, well, as you can see, the water level has been increased. Now it's about 700 milliliters. 700 less 500 is 200 milliliters, and this is this apple's volume, 200 milliliters. What about density? Density is the relationship between mass and volume, okay? And it's measured in kilograms per liter. Different objects, different fluids, have uh, very different densities. Let's see the most obvious one is water. I'm going to put some water here in this small cup. And now I'm going to pour some olive oil. Let's see what happens. As you can see, if we allow it to settle, something curious happens. Look! Oil floats on water. Why is that so? It's because oil's density is lower than water's density. So that's why oil floats on water. This explains why most of the objects that float, they act as they do. We'll continue talking about physics following videos. I see you guys.